Hi, it's uh, Steve here from analyticsinaction.com and what I want to do today is give you a demo on motion charts and presenting and uh, using motion charts to present multi-dimensional data. So um, what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick overview of the format of this demo. Um, first of all, I'll talk about what are motion, motion charts, why you'd want to use them, and then I'll go through a practical example uh, involving setting up a Google um, spreadsheet, generating a motion chart gadget and then deploying that uh, gadget to a uh, iGoogle dashboard and finally I'll just go over a few other additional resources I have for um, analytics, business intelligence and uh, and um, and BI sort of stuff in general. Okay so what are motion charts and why would you want to use them? Well motion charts are for presenting multi-dimensional data so they can produce they can present up to five different variables, so you have two variables on the x and y axis. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, you also have a variable associated with the bubble size on the chart, um, another variable with the colour, and then there's also a time dimension uh, which you can manipulate with a slider. So I'll just show you very quickly. Let's go into so this is the motion chart here. It's based on some call centre data, so we've got lead utilization on the y-axis, the number of completed training sessions that the uh, call center did. On the x-axis we got two country um, uh, points here, we've got a time dimension down the bottom and uh, we, if we wanted to we could have um, color as a uh, dimension as well but at the moment I'm just going to have that as unique and we can then play this to see how lead utilization, the number of completed sent, um, sessions and raw leads change through time. All very cool. There you go. So what I'll do, go back here. Okay, so just a little bit of background on motion charts. Um, I suppose motion charts, the, the profile of motion charts have been raised by a, um, by a um, Swedish academic called ha um, Hans Rosling, um, particularly with some of the presentations he has made at TED Talks. So one thing I'd actually encourage you to do is actually go and have a look at some of these um, presentations at TED.com. Just type in Hans Rosling and you'll get probably about four or five different um, video presentations that he's done. Um, great stuff, really, really um, cutting edge, innovation, uh, innovative work. So um, Hans Rosling actually um, started up a company called Gapminder and they built a, uh, a program called Trendalyzer which was the sort of one of the original motion chart uh, applications. Google liked the, uh, liked the look of that I think in 2007 and actually bought the um, the uh, the application and it's been included within the um, Google visualiza visualization API, which is now um, so you can now access that just as a standard um, uh, sort of chart within Google Docs. So the reason um, the sort of motion charts are, I suppose, very relevant in today's world is that the volume and complexity of data is increasing rapidly. Um, currently there's about a zettabyte of, um, of, of data stored within the, what do they call it, the data universe I guess, so the total, about it, total information out there that's stored. Um, so by the way, a zettabyte's a, a trillion, a trillion gigabytes, so, and that is, volume is going, expected to increase about 40 fold um, according to an IDC study um, over the next 10 years. With that increase in the volume of data is also an increase in the complexity of data. So what we need as, um, as analysts and business insight people is to be able to present much more complex data in a more easily digestible way. And um, motion charts are a great way, a great tool to, uh, to do this. The other good thing about um, motion charts um, is that you can turn them into gadgets and these gadgets um, can be um, you can be embedded into all sorts of locations. So you can embed the uh, underlying script into a, say, a website, and you have your gadget appearing on a website, or you can put it into, for example, as I'm going to demonstrate today, into, say, an iGoogle um, page, um, or it can just be published straight to the um, straight to the web. Okay, so in today's uh, practical example, I'm going to 
use a Google spreadsheet, some data, some multi-dimensional data that's stored in the Google spreadsheet. I'm then going to generate a uh, motion chart. Uh, then I'm going to turn that into a gadget. I'm going to move that gadget to its own sheet and then deploy that gadget to a iGoogle dashboard. Uh, also show you how to, you could just as easily publish that to a, um, to a website or, um, or another, you know, another location. Right. So this is the raw data that we have. It's sitting within my um, a spreadsheet within Google Docs. I'll assume that you can create that. So all you need is a um, Google account and um, and then open up a spreadsheet and enter enter data in. So what we've got here is um, five rows of data. We've got country data, we've got time data, we've got raw leads uh, in terms of the the volume of raw leads that the call center received each week, the lead utilization rate, how many of those leads they actually used, and then uh, the number of completed sessions, that training sessions that that um, um, that the call center, the the two call centers actually um, completed. So all you need to do is select the data, simple as that, and you go insert gadget, and then you'll get a whole heap of different um, gadgets popping up. It's worth um, going through and actually having a look at all these various gadgets because some very cool cool things in there. So all we need to do is say motion chart, add to spreadsheet, we'll call this um, motion chart demo. So we go apply and close. That'll just take a, um, a few seconds for it to render. So the basic um, chart has been produced. So what we'll do is just you click up in the top left hand corner and you'll see an arrow um, here. So um, select, uh, select it and we'll say move to its own sheet. But what you have here is a, um, a whole heap of options such as publishing a gadget. Um, you, so you can publish it to a website. Um, but here we're going to, as I said, we're going to move it to its own sheet. Just so it's a little bit uh, larger. Now we're just going to play around with some of the variables here. So we've got lead utilization on the y-axis. That's fine. So that's a, a percentage. Um, on the x-axis, we're going to change that to the number of completed sessions. The color. We want the color to be um, unique. So we're just basically saying the Brazil and Philippines data. We want them. The, want those those data points of different color size. We're gonna the size of the bubble. We're gonna uh, vary with the raw leads. So that's pretty much it. So then we can set this running. So this is pretty much the chart that I showed you earlier on. So what we see is when we could Brazil lead utilization rates increasing. As a result, you get an increasing number of completed sessions. I suppose the Philippines, they start off actually with um, quite a high number of completed sessions, but then lead utilization rate decreases. But because they are, um, um, they are um, getting more raw leads, so if we hover over the last one, we can see raw leads here, 1650. Because the actual raw leads have, um, have increased through time, Selected that by mistake because the raw leads actually increased through time, they managed to also increase the complete decisions. But um, the actual overall efficiency of their business um, actually decreased. So, this Brazil here you can see was on a, um, on a positive upward trend. Okay, so that's pretty much a, um, a motion chart. But up in the right hand corner here, we can say add gadget to iGoogle, just click on that. Add motion chart to iGoogle, and what we'll see is it then appears right within your iGoogle. So then you can run this as you um, as you want. And the great thing about this is you can then also control um, the uh, through the 
through the settings how frequently you want the data to be updated so you can update that you know down to a scale of a, a few minutes if you want so uh, all very cool so you can get um, up-to-date information being shot straight through to a um, dashboard and what you can do is you can create a whole range of of dashboards so here I've got a uh, I've got a, um, a funnel um, this just takes a second to load up because obviously it's getting the latest data um, you can add things like gauges And it goes on and on. Really, there's a whole lot of really cool things you can do with um, with these uh, Google Google dashboards, Google um, gadgets. Sorry. Okay, so that was the practical example. Um, showed you uh, how to set up a Google spreadsheet, um, how to generate a motion chart gadget, how to move that gadget to its own sheet, and then deploying that gadget to a uh, iGoogle dashboard. Um, hopefully, in the future, what I'm planning to do is actually show you how to import data in through a um, extract transform process so you can basically have information pipe being piped out of SQL Server integration services from a range of various source systems into um, into um, a Google basically either as a data source or as a, into the spreadsheet so that these dashboards can be um, have up to the minute data being sourced from other systems other than just actually a Google spreadsheet so you can have information coming out of for example your CRM system or your sales system okay so um, hope you enjoyed the demo um, uh, if you uh, enjoyed this um, come across and subscribe to my YouTube channel or um, come across and uh, have a look at analytics in action so an on, in analytics in action on my um, blog have a whole heap of information on business intelligence and uh, analytics so things like data integration so cover a whole heap of things about um, SQL Server integration services um, also have lots of information on um, reporting, particularly um, power pivots um, and uh, and so some of the higher end Excel work. Also have stuff on um, modeling, predictive modeling, classification models, um, and a heap of other stuff. And also just analytics in, in general. So um, yeah, come across, have a look, and um, sign up to my YouTube channel.